Um, this one's about the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, but told from the snake's point of view. It goes, OK, yes, I admit it. I was in that forbidden apple tree. Down in the Garden of Eden, there was Adam, Eve and me. Now both of them were naked except a little leaf to cover their modesty. It's lucky us snakes are so thick skinned they don't embarrass easily. Now Eve, she wore a fig leaf, but I'm sure Adam's was a plum, because he had two big ones dangling from his leaf, ripening in the sun. Eve whispered into Adam's ear, and his leaf had began to rise, and a long big pink snake with a big red head popped out by surprise. Eve didn't bat an eyelid, she grabbed hold of that snake, and Adam stood there grinning as Eve gave it a shake. It must have been some kind of cobra, because it soon began to spit, but the venom didn't bother Eve, she just tightened up her grip. I tell you, Adam, he was useless though. The guy was one bad wimp. He struggled for ten minutes more until that snake went limp. The way she choked that poor old snake, I thought she might do the same to me. So I just quickly hissed off and I slid up in the tree. So I didn't tempt nobody. I was hiding out of sight when Eve, she plucked the apple and Adam took the bite. At that moment, all hell broke loose and the sky turned black. I tell you, Adam shit his plum leaf and he tried to stick it back. But a wind that swept through Eden blew the apples from the tree. The tree now stood there barren, and that's when Eve, she spotted me. She said to Adam, hey, don't worry, we can blame it on that snake. You call me cold-blooded man, that bitch takes the cake. Just because I speak with a forked tongue, I've got to, I'm a snake. It was them two horny bastards that made the big mistake. But in the end, they paid the price and got banished out of paradise. But don't feel sorry for them, it was me that came off worse. But that bitch pulled me out the tree for the very thin snakeskin pace. <laughs>